I can't go back, I can't go back to what I used to do, I made it No more sleeping on that floor, no more sleeping in that car I'm trying to get you to stop Y'all, it's Kay, and if you didn't know, then you are a hater If you go around the world a couple times, guess what you're still gonna be? A hater Now, in order to not be considered a hater, all you gotta do is like, subscribe, and comment on this channel And go follow me on all other platforms Now, let me lift this up so y'all can see the fact that I got a haircut on me, okay? Ooh, your barber don't give a damn about you like mine's give a damn about me. Your barber don't love you like mine's love me. Do your barber hug you like mine's hug me? He better not, cause mine's don't hug me. He better not, cause my barber do not hug me, okay? Now, for real though, I appreciate my barber. My barber name is K. If y'all ever wanted to know who be cutting my hair in Atlanta, his name is K. K the barber. He does house calls right now. He does a hundred dollar house calls, but before I even was getting house calls, I was paying him a hundred dollars because he's so genuine. He real like he a real genuine barber. He have a nice conversation with you as he's cutting your hair. You know what I'm saying? And like at this point, we became like family. That's really like one of my friends now. You feel me? Like I, I genuinely fool with bro. He cool as hell. Now, um, as y'all know, I am hosting the Magic City Classic, the McDonald's Magic City Classic this weekend, and um, today is really the day that I really get myself together because the game is tomorrow. Now I, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and go to the parade you know what I'm saying try to march with my old high school just show them some love I got me a banner getting made I'm just really going to like love on my old high school you know what I'm saying and I'm really that's the only re that's really the only reason I'm going I went to PD Jackson only and I want to say thank you to the the band director hold on let me get his name okay yeah miss Mr. Fitzpatrick, I want to say thank you, a very special thank you to uh, the band director, the band director, Mr. Fitzpatrick, because he came and let me know like like I had made a post and was like, hey man, I want to march with my old high school, and he told me, baby, we waiting on you, we love you, we waiting on you, hey, we 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 trying to show him that we know somebody, and hey, y'all know me, I'm a real, I'm a real P.D. Jackson Nolan like veteran, I'm a vet at this point, like I love my school, man, I love my high school, as much as I went through in high school, I still love my high school. Now. We had a um, P.D. Jackson only alumni thing for um, high school. I really think they need to do one for middle schools. Like Bush Middle School, oh my goodness gracious. They really should have a, a, a picnic for everybody that went to Bush Middle School. Y'all, I'm a little tired because I've been up all night trying to study my lines for this game. Okay, let me let me turn around and y'all show me if I got it, if I'm doing good. Welcome, McDonald's Magic City Classic fans. Hornets and Bulldogs, I hope y'all ready to have some fun. My name is Kay, and I will be your in-game MC. Now, let's kick this game off with the Coca-Cola prize pack giveaway. I have my winner here right... I have my... my ah! Ah! Every time I make a mistake, I just start screaming. But I don't think I'm going to make a mistake there. Even if I do make a mistake, I'm just going to keep going. Like, okay. Let's kick this game off with the Coca-Cola prize pack giveaway. I have my... Rent, my I have... I already picked my winner right here from the stands. Congratulations to... And they're going to say their name, you feel me? Then I'm going to come back and let them know. I will have more prizes and giveaways as the game goes on. So stay tuned and tell everybody who is outside to hurry up and get inside. And this how this how my intro goes, you know what I'm saying? I've been practicing it so hard. And the crazy part about it is, uh, I love my city. I love Birmingham, Alabama with everything in me. But when they called me and asked me to host this uh, game, I immediately said yes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I barely cared about the money. I'm not even doing it for as much as I'm worth, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just doing it because I really wanted to bring some excitement to the city, bring everybody back just together, you know, like usually when it comes down to the classic, everybody walk around that circle, and you wanna get like two or three good walk arounds before everybody starts shooting up the place. Like honestly, it's not cool, it's not funny, it's not fun. I only went to the classic, like to do the little walk around thing, I only went like twice, and ever since I realized, that, okay, this guy gonna see this guy that he don't like, and they gonna start shooting at each other, I just stopped going, I stopped going, but I really feel different this year. I feel like we finna come together and we finna do something way bigger, man. I, I think them getting me to host this and getting me to promote this is gonna make the, it's making the city come together. Now we do have those bad broke eggs from the city that's saying stuff like, nobody cares about the classic. Why y'all excited about the classic? It's so old, like y'all too old to be excited about the classic. Even though the, the classic is a college football game. We had no business as young people walking around that thing, find each other, just mean up, just to fight people. And and why is the city so negative when it come down to somebody trying to bring some type of excitement, some type of smiles, some for these kids to do? Like, just like how you had something to do when you was a child. Why is it a problem that they're making it better for these new kids, these new generations? Like, I, I'm so glad that they called me to do this. Cause I'm the one that's gonna stand down and be like, hey, we doing this for whoever. We doing this for us. We doing this for you too. Bring your kids. Like everybody keep, 
I think everybody's so big on being negative when it comes down to my city, that's why we ain't made it far. Like, Birmingham, Alabama really could be the next Atlanta, but you know what I'm saying? It's too much hate there. It's too many people hating on each other. Nobody really want to see each other prosper. And then when you see each other prospering, you act like it's a problem. It's not a problem that somebody from the city is prospering. I'm literally your very own coming way back from Atlanta just to host this game, to see smiles on y'all faces. And I want everybody to be there to support me. What's wrong with it? Like, I'm glad that a lot of people are putting their foot down saying, baby, this ain't even for y'all. This is for Alabama State and Alabama a and It's their alumni. Like, it's for them to come have fun, and it's for our, our grandmas, our granddaddies, everybody to come out there and have them some fun, set up their tents and cook for everybody. I can't wait to eat me a, a good loaded polar sausage. I can't wait. You know what, I may review I, I may review all the food out there. That's what I may do, I may review all the food out there just because, man, like I'm so happy. Like, I'm so happy that they, they called me to do this, man. I, I'm not gonna be mad at myself if I make any mistakes there because like I was trying to let y'all know, Birmingham is like a great city, but they are very unprofessional when it come down to doing something this big because maybe they're not used to doing it. But when they called me and asked me to do this, it was a while ago. Honestly, probably like, I don't know how long ago it was, probably a full month, more than a month ago. We've been on them a lot about it. Like, hey, we went on this phone call so we can get everything set up so I can get these scripts down because I don't want to embarrass myself on national television. They just now sent me the script yesterday. Yesterday, they just now sent me the script of what I would have to say to at the game. And it's a long strip. If you ask me, it's like, I gotta do this, I gotta say that, then I gotta say that, then I gotta say that. And when it comes down to stuff like this, like giving people scripts, you're supposed to give them that like a, a month ahead, a couple weeks ahead. I was asking for this, this script like two weeks ago. I've been asking for it. They just now gave it to me yesterday, so I want y'all to bear with me when y'all see me. I just pray to God that I, I do well. Like, I'm gonna do well. Like, I'm, I'm manifesting that I do well. Like, I'm not even tripping, you feel me? Like, I know I'm do well. Now, I'm just so excited, y'all. I don't know what to do, you feel me? Like, I'm, I'm trying to get it in my head that this is something, it's so major. Like, I don't I don't know what it is. Like, I just feel so excited about this, you know what I'm saying? I've been trying to bring a lot of good things back to my city. I've been applying for big houses so that I can make a cutscene house in my city. And I know somebody probably grabbed the idea and take it from me, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, they might go rent them out of the house and then just start calling it a cutscene house. I really don't care. As long as somebody do it, I know I'm still gonna do what I gotta do and still gonna, fulfill my ideals. People always say, don't tell everybody what you're gonna do because they might copy behind you and do it. I don't give a damn. Like, I don't care who copy me no more. I used to have a problem with it. Like, I don't really care no more as long as somebody copy me doing something positive. And then I, I really won't care. You feel me? Like, man, I don't know how to feel, honestly. Like, this is a big, major event and I'm really the head of it right now. Like, I'm, uh, a lot of my people are buying tickets. I got a lot of tickets to give away today. I gotta give my grandmother some tickets. My dad them, they, they backstage passes because my people are gonna be up at top, at, at the top in like a sweet area. Y'all, I'm trying to get this together. But right now, I got on this because I'm finna, you know what I'm saying? I'm waiting on my assistant to pull up. I'm gonna change my clothes and then we're gonna hit the road to Alabama and I'm gonna get all the tickets out the way today because the game is tomorrow and the march, we're gonna be on um, the parade is early in the morning, like 8, 8.30. And I'm gonna march with the, um, my high school for like an hour or two, get that together and then I'm gonna, um, Head to my room, take a shower, then head to that, that stadium and host that football game. And I'm taking y'all with me the whole while. Like, I'm just, whoo! I got this. I got this. I'm a real E-Town baby, so I know I'm bold. I'm bold. I'm a real E-Town baby. We got this. Anyways, what else I got to do? Right now, Simba is um at the groomer getting groomed because he's going to Alabama with me. A lot of people want to meet Simba. And Simba is a celebrity in his own, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna go pick him up from, from being groomed. And then I'm gonna pack my car up, wait on my assistant. Then I'm gonna change my clothes, okay? Let's get it, let's go. I ain't got a cap about nothing you know. So I just got done from, um, well, just got back from picking Simba up from his uh, grooming appointment. Simba, come here, Simba. They wanna see, your, they wanna see how they did, come here. Y'all wanna hop right now? Okay, y'all. You look good, though. You look good. Oh, you look so good. You look so good, Mama Dudu. You look so good, Mama Dudu. You look so good. You look so handsome. As y'all can see, he be having fur all over me. What do y'all do to stop the uh to stop the violence of the fur from y'all pets? Because he he literally he got a little dirt dirt de de deformation deformation. <laughs> Who you see, baby? I don't see nobody out there but 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 the leaves. Anyways. He got him, um, you know like when they do the little de deferminator for the, for the dog fur, he got one of those too, but it really don't work, y'all. I could just grab a little piece of the hair off his back and it be so much of it, like, it's just like, it come out in patches every time, like, and every time he shake, he scratch, he do anything, his hair come off. 
I'm finna hit the road in like 30 minutes. As y'all can see, I'm about to hit the road to Birmingham, Alabama in about 30 minutes. I'm finna just put on me some clothes. My assistant said she on her way, so by the time she get here, I should be fully ready. I'm gonna put him in the car after I get ready because I don't want him to sit in the car for no 15 minutes. And then, yeah, we gonna head out and hit the road, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't really, I do plan on doing a couple of reviews while I'm in Birmingham. I think today I'm supposed to be reviewing this restaurant called Yo Chef. Their Instagram is Yo Chef 247 So make sure y'all go follow and support them. Now, I'm gonna be 100. Now, y'all know you can pay me for a full review, but you can't pay me to lie. Now, I went to Birmingham, uh, I don't know if it was like last year, I don't know when it was, but I had went to Birmingham and I had tried your shelf. And I had my camera out and everything because I was really planning on, you know what I'm saying, doing a full review. But bitch, I took that food back to my room, my, 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 my feet, it got me stuttering. I took that food back to my, uh, my hotel room and I ate it. I ate a tad bit of the I took a couple bites. I ain't like it. I, ain't, I don't know what the it was about it. I think, I don't know what it was, but that was like a year ago. I can tell you that. Now, I ain't finna sit up here and say it was just, ooh, on um, um, ooh, I ain't finna put it on nobody, I don't know. All I know is, I, 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 I'm not gonna just say it was just, mm, poo poo, but it was not nothing that I was finna post. I said, I ain't even finna post this review, cause I with y'all, cause I actually genuinely with some of the people that work in there. So, you know what I'm saying? At least I'm being real and y'all know that I was finna do a full review, but I just felt like, uh-uh, baby. I don't know how long it was open before I went there and I ain't like it, so respectfully, I decided to not post that review. It's a lot of reviews that I respectfully decide to not to post because I wanna give a lot of black-owned businesses chances. Now, if I do end up coming back and I review it again, I do let y'all know that I reviewed it before. Now, this really not a lot of them. It's really like, you know what I'm saying, like that I, I done went and reviewed and then like, and I go back and I may have liked it or something like that. But you, you, listen, y'all get the picture of what the f I'm trying to say. If you don't frame it, you might try to get the picture, at least a little bit, be closer to getting the picture. But um, yeah, I'm supposed to be going to your shelf today. But this is one of the first restaurants where they know that I'm coming and I really truly hate that. Like, I don't like when restaurants know that I come because that means y'all finna try y'all ass off for me. I don't like that shit. Like, don't, I don't really like to, for restaurants to be alert that I'm coming. Like, I just want y'all to know that I may be there within these three days. Be on your shit for three days straight. Be on your shit your whole damn career. Honestly, but uh, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment on this video. It's like, boost a bitch, keep a girl going. I lost my piece of candy. Okay, y'all. We on the road trip to Alabama. Bama, sweet home Alabama. You like that song? You know that song? Uh. Mm, <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! Bitch look like Mace by the hat. Y'all know me he had on that pink with that Mace. Ooh, that one even him. Bitch, you look like somebody by the hat. The one that had on the pink. You don't like my hat? I like that hat. It just look like fox fur. You got on the fox ass. You got a fox ass okay, on your head. Okay, relax. Like, what the fuck? Fox ass head ass. I think they blueberry and they banana. You, you can answer it too. Why was the insect throwing bananas? And I'm gonna give y'all five seconds to answer this before, before I tell y'all the answer. Now come in and tell me, why was the insect throwing bananas? And if you get it wrong, let me know that you ain't got it wrong. Or butter to come in, that you come in. I'm gonna give y'all a minute. Why was the insect throwing bananas? To see if it was a fruit fly. That don't make no sense, but it do a little bit. All right. It's supposed to be lame. Boop, boop, <laughs> I told y'all, I, I sometimes I just let my hand go out there. Now, let me ask another one. What did the grocer say when all that fruit was stolen? What did the grocer say when all that fruit was stolen? Now, come in right now and be honest now. Come in, what the fuck you think it is? And I'm gonna give you five seconds before I get down. I'm peachless. <laughs> Bitch, that was, you don't like that one. <laughs> Do that. Don't piss me off. I don't like her. Oh, there we go. It was for none Get the no, fuck up. It was raw. That was a good one. It, they, they peachless because they took all their fruit. You don't get it? I'm peachless. I'm peachless. <laughs> Let me ask another one. Let me ask another one. Let me ask another one. Okay, this one said, this one said, why do you call, why in the fuck is this all about fruit? But anyways, what do you call two bananas? I'm gonna give y'all five seconds. A pair of slippers. <laughs> you don't get it. You don't get it. Cause you know, you slip on bananas. And if it's two of them, it's a pair of slippers. You ever tried to slip on bananas? I, I have tried to slip on bananas. 
I tried so hard I did fall. Me too, I didn't fall. I didn't fall. I think I just jumped and shit and just fell back on my back real hard. Who the fuck came up with the fact that you slip off a now? Now I feel like in a grocery store. Probably you probably slip and bust your neck. See, I need somebody to drop a banana peel. I need me a loss. Why was the banana having a bad day? Why was the banana having a bad day? I'm gonna try to ask him. Because his toenails split. That ain't right. Why was the banana having a bad day? Because it was a Sunday. That ain't that don't make no sense. Why would the banana have a bad day on Jesus Day? Sunday? That ain't right, is it? But you know what? Probably because he wanted some Chick-fil-A. And it was Sunday, so the banana couldn't get none, so he had a, okay, we're gonna keep going. Why did the lonely farmer light a peach on fire? Why did the lonely, this is all about fruit, I see. Why did the lonely farmer set a light, a peach on fire? He was looking for that warm, fuzzy feeling. Fuck that one. I don't like that one at all. Who the fuck nobody got that one, right? Don't lie, y'all. You can be honest. You got it wrong, right? Why do artists always paint fruit? To make a master motherfucking peach. A masterpiece? A master peach? I think that was just the opening to play my song and ask y'all, when should I drop? Uh, uh, What it do, y'all? It's Kane. Y'all already know what time it is, bitch. I'm back with another review. Now, I went back to my hometown because I was the Magic City Classics MC. They had me doing a lot of giveaways. When I tell y'all, thank y'all to everybody that came out and supported me, bought a ticket to the game just to see me, I appreciate that. But the main reason I love traveling home is to give me some good food. If you live in Birmingham, Alabama, you alive, you say you ain't never heard about your shit. It's a good black-owned restaurant that everybody done been to before, including me. This ain't my first time being there, but this my first time reviewing. And y'all know I had to bring my brother with me because anytime I review something that he done been to before, I like to get his opinion on it too because he a regular there, so he know how I really be going. Now, y'all, my brother wants somebody to comb out his locks for $300. He better get $300 f out somebody's face thinking they finna f comb that shit out for $300. You better add a zero to the back of that $3,000. So I don't like to be on camera, but I don't give a damn with that goddamn fur hat on looking like camera on. Now, I don't know who bought that was outside, but you better get it because that shit brought back a memory. I almost stole it. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. My mama ain't never really buy us no bikes. We used to snatch. Damn sure did. We used to snatch bikes and spray paint them. My mama used to get like, who the f gave y'all that bike? My friend. But whoever that is, they smart. They locked them up. I just, what the f you better do? Now, y'all know what's going on, baby. Fit check, fit check. So fresh, make your bitch sweat, wet, all that. I promise you when I say can't nobody f with me. Now, y'all know when I do reviews, I don't just review the damn food. I review the whole restaurant. I read signs and all. They said this area is regularly disinfected. So if you ever come in here and come out with COVID, so nah, but honestly, the restaurant seem real clean. So I feel like if you come in there and leave with something, you brought it with you. Now, y'all know lately I've been reviewing restaurants that become they come with like a whole vibe. I like to walk around and show you everything in the goddamn restaurant. See, this right here is what I like to call a lounge store. They got booths, tables, strippers. I'm just playing. 
But I'm just trying to give you an idea. Next time I come, have a stripper for me. That'll be the raw shit. Just, just, just throw a little stripper behind the bar. I'll come back that wood. Now, I'm be real. You know the restaurant be jumping when you find a wigger in there. Look at the wigger. Look at the wigger. We serve everybody in here. You know what I'm saying? No matter what the skin tone is. I love a good supportive wigger. They had set us on up in the booth. I said, damn, that's snake skin, ain't it? What type of booth this is? I almost stood on the table with a bottle. This is Mirage, ain't it? I know they changed the name to Aria, but Aria will never be Mirage. To be honest, I miss Mirage. Every time I go in Aria, it ain't the same. I miss Mirage. I don't like how my brother be trying to flex with his locks, old Rapunzel looking ass. Now, who the you think you is? Extension cord here ass. Trying to flex and shit. He made me tuck my shit behind my ear. I said, all right. That's what we doing. I just tuck my shit. Now, let's get into this menu. Y'all know I really don't like no big ass menu. I had a 55 option ass menu. Just put all the shit you order in a, in a jar and just let me snatch up out of it. Or but I noticed that this restaurant got a, like a, a pamphlet of menus because on each, you know what I'm saying, page, it's a different menu. So basically, when you open it up, that's the brunch menu. You feel me? They got, they got bottomless mimosas. I'm trying to see what is a bottomless mimosa? A mimosa without the ass on it. I really don't understand what the f that is. Now, now, after that, on the next page, they got the lunch menu. You know what I'm saying? Tuesday through Friday, that's the lunch menu. Read. Look at it. 11 through 3, that's lunch. Is it? Hold on. They got a little vegetarian side for y'all vegetarian motherfuckers. And I want y'all to understand. I don't give a what you do to the chicken. It don't taste like it. That's that's cauliflower. Okay? That cauliflower. I know how real chicken tastes. But I ain't trying to dog the vegetarians out. One day, I'm going to spend a whole week reviewing nothing but vegetarian restaurants in my dream. I am mad that I didn't try them damn uh, Rockefeller oysters. I'm mad I ain't tried them. Y'all see the price of them did y'all see the video of the girl eating eight months plates of oysters? And they weren't even Rockefeller. They was all raw. This bitch was eating eight plates of burgers, bitch. I like my oysters cooked. You don't get the fuck out of my face with them goddamn under the sea ass oysters. I would have left that bitch at the table, came back and apologized and left that bitch again. Somebody need to leave that bitch twice. Now, y'all, this is one of the main chefs, Drew. So if anything go wrong, we blaming his ass. But all jokes aside, he was cool. I like them Ray Charles ass shades. Too. Now, when it come down to this restaurant, this way you gotta really be careful at. These goddamn drinks will f you up. Now, when I come to restaurants, they like to get me drunk to alter my uh review, alter my mindset. Guess what? I get drunker and be more honest. One time I got too drunk, told them exactly where I was when I cheated. But I'm trying to tell y'all, order that demon time. If you don't order, order that demon time or that little watermelon drink. That's why I like my gap. It bring excitement to my teeth. I had a boring jaw ass bitch. My teeth pretty, bitch, even with a damn exclamation mark in between. But I ain't want to drink my drink up because I had to, you know what I'm saying, save a little room for the food. My brother was over there sipping the sap out of his shit. Oh, these more good, boy. I, I, I see. So I be acting funny when the camera's cut on. I don't like that. Now, y'all, this the owner of the restaurant. My boy was D or down. Now, I want to respect him for saying that, honestly, he treat his regular customers better than he treat me. He straight up said that, and I really like that. I don't like a restaurant that put a goddamn content creator before the bitches that come every day. That's his nephew right there. I thought they were Ray J. I was going to say, bust a note. Bust a note. If I had one, we would do it right now. Now, Ty let me try her drink, which like it was like some type of watermelon one. That's how I know that I like that one kind of better than a demon time. The watermelon one, is, it, it definitely was better than a demon time. Now, I don't know why she had to try my drink. Do you do the goddamn review? I said, uh-uh, use your straw, bitch. I don't know what the fuck you be doing with your mouth on your off days. And even if the drinks weren't enough, they came out and gave me a shot of Casamigos. I said, hold up, hold the fuck on up. I respect that. Now, y'all, we toasted to the success of all black-owned businesses in Birmingham, Alabama. I, I, I think we all should focus on them prospering. I feel like they can. Y'all, that's my girl London right there. When I tell you, she made sure everything was straight in that bitch. Give her a raise. I honestly want y'all to come in her cash out because I forgot to tip her. So make sure y'all tell London to contact me. Now, I want to shout out to everybody who came and picked up the tickets that I was giving away for free and actually used them. Now, if I bought your bitch ass a ticket and you didn't come to that game, guess what? I don't f with you. And I promise you, I mean that. Now, I'm going to be real. When I first ever came to this restaurant and I ordered the food, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't f with it that much. But that was a year ago. I'm, and I'm the type that I always tell y'all I like the bell with black owned businesses, especially if they from Birmingham, Alabama. I just never, I don't give a f that don't mean I ain't gonna tell the truth, you know what I'm saying? When I, like I said, I came the first time and I didn't f with it too heavy. That's why I ain't post a review because I was finna do a review on them the first time. But I said, you know what? Mm -mm. They kept trying to tell me, you ordered the wrong shit. No, you made it wrong. Ain't, ain't, ain't no such thing as the wrong shit. But keep in mind, it was a while ago and when I came in, they was already beat. Y'all know me, I'ma keep being honest. I don't know what the f they was back there doing, but it took them just a, a little too long to bring me my goddamn food. I was too, I was hungry. B I ain't eat shit that whole day. They must have thought because they had Angel Reese to come out there and bring my food. <laughs> now, for all your side, though, that girl look like Angel Reese. She pretty. I don't know why she walked away when I said that. Girl, I climbed your little tree. You, you, ain't nothing wrong with being tall as fuck. Girl, I will climb the f out of that branch. I like me a little tall, bitch. I feel like that's a little challenge for me. I'll whack them on your ass down. I'm gonna be real. They, with the way they catered that shit, fire as hell. I don't know who the f they did. That's probably why it took them a minute, y'all. They was back there putting BBLs on the food. I like how they mean you came with a bunch of pistols. So my brother said he liked that snapper. He liked how I look. So you ordered it. They brought me some lobster, chicken, lamb chops, goddamn uh, macaroni, greens, and what, what else it was. Some yams, some cornbread. I mean, damn. So all these goddamn food, y'all trying to get me on my drawers, ain't it? Good. Hey. One when you're one step closer. Next time, take all the teeth out the snap. I feel like y'all was trying to be funny. Y'all trying, y'all left a gap in that mother. Y'all know I like to put my red dress on my chicken before I eat it. I like the hot sauce it down. I don't give a damn who I got to share with. I'm be real. Y'all fried the roost out of that chicken. Y'all fried the f goddamn. Honestly, I see why they was back there taking their time. They brought that shit out hot as hell. They probably was just that one chef back there cooking all of this. I ain't gonna lie to mother. 
fucking you did what you had to do on that chick. Now, now this shit just made me wonder. Did you cook with your shades on or off? Why he take them shades from his ass? There's some power with them bitches. When my brother was eating that goddamn snapper, I got jealous. I said, hey. I want a piece. I like how he grew up to not be as stingy as he used to be. I remember it used to, be, it used to take everything in me to get one Skittle out the bag. No, this mine. Well, get what I'm finna do. I'm finna go tell. You gonna have to share. He's still a little low down. Why the f he gave me all them damn bones? I damn near choked in it. But honestly, I'm gonna be real. They fried the hell out of that snapper. Whenever I go back, that's all I'm getting is the snapper. I almost ate that little piece off the table. I had realized it was in my house. I'm t I promise you, they did what they had to do when it come down to that snapper. And all my life, you can ask them. Every time they came back to check on me, I told them the truth. I said, hey, listen, I'm gonna need y'all to snap like this when my supporters come up in this. My brother over there trying to detail the food. We said, God damn, this shit good as f. We were tag teaming the f. That bitch, I feel like Whoop Rico and break his neck. Bitch, you get that piece, you get that piece, and I get that piece. And y'all tied on me like a shit, but I gave her a piece of the snapper, and she liked that motherfucker. Really f with time. She don't like nothing but me. I respect that. I keep trying to tell her, baby, I like you too. Now, what the f you gonna do? That's what I was trying to um explain in front of Marco when I told him I split the chicken in half, and I hit with the I low key eat everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Go ask your bitch about it. And people always say, it really ain't no way to f up no chicken. Yes, it is, bitch. If I don't eat the bone of the chicken like that, you ain't really snap on. Now, I don't advise y'all to eat the bone. Cause I felt that shit later. They became out sideways. I said, hold on now. I'm pushing for the devil, ain't it? Now let's get into this lobster tail. Now I don't know what to tell y'all, but they snapped for me. Now my brother don't know it, but he pissed me off because he know he allergic to shellfish. He lucky that motherfucker ain't shell his ass up. So he had me scared as fuck. I'm finna go ahead on and call our daddy and say, hey, meet us at the hospital. Honestly, that probably was my brother's second or third time eating some lobster and he love that shit. What f up was, he said, I don't get no fuck, man. I'm just gonna have to look like Martin. No, bitch, you. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That shit is good enough to die for. I kept looking at his ass, trying to make sure he was all right, trying to make sure when shit swelling up on him, he was all right. Now, y'all, they wanted me to eat the eyeball of the snapper so bad, so I did. They said the eyeball of the snapper got a lot of flavor in it. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That shit taste like a devil egg to me. Y'all know I like to let y'all read my lips a little bit. I said that shit taste like a devil egg. Now they had paired the lobster tail with some grits, and I promise you, if you sprinkle some lemon or lime over the grits, that shit make it hit even harder. When you got some seafood grits. Sprinkle a little lime on them. I'm trying to tell y'all that this, that's this just my little, uh, that's some shit that I do. Now, y'all, honestly, we started off on a good ass foot. Y'all, we had took 50 steps forward. But as soon as I ate them greens, we took just, just a couple more back. If I don't like some shit, I try not to be rude by how I said. I tried twice. Now, if I did if I don't like it twice, I, I can't f with I'm gonna call my grandma and say, what, what you be putting in your greens so I can tell this young man? I tried to save him with some hot sauce, but I couldn't. I didn't f with him. I think my grandma got me spoiled. If you know Georgia May, you know she don't play in nobody kitchen. My grandma be snapping. Now, them yams was all right. Them were no bad yams. I, I, I f the yams. And I'm not gonna hold y'all. That macaroni was good too, but I like when they uh when they had a little fire thing and they put the fire thing over your macaroni to put that black macaroni on top of that. I like my macaroni to be baked a little extra longer. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think you can really just come in the restaurant and say, hey, bake my macaroni longer. So I be respecting what they bring, what they bring out. And if I do or don't like it, I tell y'all. We had one buck left on my plate. It was me and bro, we was at the store, both of us got 50 cent cakes. Whatever I get, I split with my brother. We both had the same opinion on the cornbread. It just could have been a little tad bit sweeter. That's all. We just wanted a little more, just a little more sugar. Y'all know me. I like the uh, taste of diabetes and some shit. And that's wrong. That's wrong. Now, listen, honestly, if you from Birmingham, Alabama, and you don't know Mary, I respect it. Because if you do know Mary, I'm going to think your ass and bought something from her. Now, I like how real Mary is. This about the realest bitch in Birmingham. She a good-ass comedian. She funny as fuck. She do stand-up. And she sell part-time feline, okay? When I tell that, I mean, what Google what a feline is, that's what she said. And she ain't expensive. She said she sell it for the love. But after this review, prices just went up. So if you from Birmingham, Alabama and you see this video, tag Mary because if you f with her, you better tag her. Prices just went up. You sell it for them, put add an extra zero on the back of what you sell it for. I love everybody that love me and Mary, one of the number one people because she's always been supportive. Honestly, when I go back, I'm gonna order the lamb chops and that snap. Now, I always tell y'all, I don't like lamb chops because I don't like no food that don't fill me up. That one body ass shit that should make me go back there and grab somebody up. What lamb it? I'm gonna cut this myself because I feel like y'all be cutting too many pieces out. But what's crazy is, y'all, I think sometimes when I had a big ass lamb chops, I hate them. These was just right. They honestly was good. I don't know what the f that glaze is on it, like that little sweet little glaze, but that shit was good as f They pissed my brother off. Because then when my brother said he be ordering when he come, he said he always get the lamb chop. But when he be coming, they don't taste like this. Now, I always tell people, every restaurant gonna have their days until they get it all right. He came, they ain't had that little glaze on there. So next time a ask for the glaze, that's what you like. For the ones that be wondering, yes, I be feeding Ty sometimes, you know. Hey. I sure hated if I wanted another piece of that damn fish the way he told that motherfucker out the frame. But that motherfucker ate the backbone out the fish and I ain't eat no vegetables. So my number bone motherfucker ate the flying Dutchman out the fish. Now, they ended up bringing me out some desserts too. They gave me two of them. They gave me a pound cake one with like some raspberry syrup on the side and they gave me uh, a red velvet one, you know what I'm saying? Both of them was topped with ice cream. Now, me and my brother, we honestly had tasted both of them and came down to the conclusion that we liked the pound cake one better because of that syrup on the side. I really think that's what it was, like some type of raspberry. I don't know what the was. I went back there slanging the shit on the top of the plate with them. I just feel like that's what it tastes like, some raspberry. Now, the red velvet one, it was good. It had more flavor by itself, but that raspberry made the uh, pound cake one hit. Shout out to London. I love her. She, she a real. Now, I do want to add this in the back. Sometimes they have karaoke night, so when they actually be posting saying they have karaoke night, y'all should show up. Now, I never been to it, but I feel like it would be a vibe, so I hope they invite me to one. If you ask me, I say this is one of the most improved restaurants in Birmingham, Alabama.
with you. I want you to know deep down in my soul, my spirit, my ass. I really don't f with you. Now, I'm going to drop my whole Magic City Classic uh, vlog on YouTube. So, make sure y'all go subscribe to my channel so you won't miss it. You might be in it. Now, if you don't follow me on Instagram, come here. Come here. Let me tell you what I don't give. Or uh, Instagram. Because you a hater. I, I know about a hater. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't entertain haters. If you don't f with me, I don't f with you. Okay? Now, go, no, go go follow me on TikTok if, you, if you're willing. If you're willing. All right, y'all. What's going on? I just woke up and, um... I had a good night last night. What happened last night? P I M P. Hey, the way dirty. None of these niggas be fly as me. Mac, bitch, P I M P. None of these niggas be fly as me. I pray for the nigga that's like. Today is the day of the day of the day that the day has brought to me. I am nervous. My, my nerves are wet. But I got this, okay? I got this, and let me, I, I got this. I got this. I got this! <clears throat> let me just press one more time. Welcome, McDonald's, Magic City Classic fans. Bulldogs and Hornets, I hope y'all ready to have some fun. My name is Kay, and I will be your in-game MC. Now let's kick this game off with a Coca-Cola prize pack giveaway. I already picked the winner right here from the stands. So congratulations to Jennifer Lopez. What did you know? No, I'm not Now. We'll be back with more prizes and giveaways. So make sure y'all stay tuned and tell everybody outside to hurry up and get in. Whew. 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 I got it. I got it. Simba, I did good. I want to thank my emotional support for being my emotional support. I really wish that you can go with us, Simba. I really want him to go. I'm going to say it one more time for you. Okay. Welcome, McDonald's Magic City Classic fans. Bulldogs and Hornets, I hope y'all ready to have some fun. My name is Kay and I will be your in-game MC. Now let's kick this game off with the Coca-Cola prize pack giveaway. I already picked the rental right here from the stands, so congratulations to Simba Hood. Okay, y'all, I'm all ready. Wait on my Uber to take me to 16th Street because this way all the, like, the parades and everything starting at, which is like five minutes away from here. So yeah, I'm gonna hop in the Uber, head over there, jump in that parade. Like I might just post up with some of my people, a lot of my people out here though, y'all, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so y'all, the parade, the parade was crazy. I'm really hiding in between some cars right now because I couldn't get away from the big crowds. It, it's been so much, like, I just wanted to sit right here and cry though. Like, honestly, y'all, they probably think I'm trying to 
run away. I need time. I'm trying. I just been telling him I'm trying to run away because I need to cry. I'm gonna hop in my Uber, go pick up my car, go back to my hotel room, and wait on my escort to escort me to the game. I just needed a moment to myself. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm um I'm not overwhelmed. I'm yes I am. Maybe I am. Okay y'all. Well, the parade was hectic. It was a lot going on at the parade. I had to hide in between some cars. I cried. It made me cry. But anyway, right now I'm back in my hotel room. I just ordered me some food, purple onion. I'm gonna eat us some purple onion. Well, I'm gonna give me some purple onion. Ty said she ain't want no food. You ain't order me none? You ain't want none? You ordered me some. Thanks, so. <laughs> My baked potato is on the way. Let me see. Let me see the order. Oh. And 10 wings. <laughs> if the bitch says she ain't hungry, don't order the bitch nothing, okay? But anyway, we can go back up into the hotel room, meet up with my two security guards, which is my two brothers, and we finna meet up with my mama. And then we finna watch Ty get ready. I'm finna watch her take this shit out. Hey, and put hey. Shit back on. <laughs> and she finna watch me take this out. Cause I'm finna go step now. I, I stepped a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I marched, bitch, I was, and then I got a Let me see, do it. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> red, I'm not my chili, so I like this. Y'all know we eating good before the game. How you feeling, mom? How you feeling? Feel Show them your shirt. Brilliant. Show them your shirt. Listen, your mama could never be mine. Your mama don't snap like mine's do. Mm-hmm. And she gonna be up in there sweet, watching her baby from afar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at my security. Yeah. Yeah, stop playing. Stop playing, ready to choke somebody. <laughs> ain't that right, bro? I'm already choking, but you know. <laughs> ah, I got an entourage, y'all. And it ain't number family, they have pulled the what? Okay, yeah, let me um introduce y'all to my auntie, Kion. What's up, baby? Uh-huh, that's my favorite auntie right there. In the building. Okay. Spoon, it don't, right. it don't get no like better it. than her. It don't get no better than her. Look at you. Gorgeous. Look who I ran into. Not on the other bag, no. No. So we finna head to Legion Field, y'all. Y'all see my security guard ready to choke somebody yeah. out. Top flight. Practice on each other. <laughs> Top flight. Okay. <laughs> 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 he turned around. Well, bro, hold your neck up. <laughs> okay, got Mon Dukes in the cut. Mm. Got Assistant Ty in the cut. And Auntie K in the cut. First floor. We finna make it hell. We finna make it hell. I got this. I got this. Uh, escort left us, realized that he left the wrong bitch. Now he coming back to get the bitch. That's what yeah, you get, sister. Slow down, bitch. Okay, she, she, she got a little anxiety, y'all, so she taking her a shot. Me, you look good. <laughs> You look pretty. Thank you. You don't want good. Go ahead on. That's a person. <laughs> what? That's a person. You know that. Well, you should put yourself. Fill it up. Here. Oh, mom. Yeah. That's, that's great. I'm good. Yeah, that's Casamigo. He gonna slam somebody yeah, on his head. Yeah. 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 Do take a little shot. Oh, you smart nigga. So okay. My oh, okay. Place. I'm a fucking criminal. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a fucking criminal. Okay. Okay. Casamigos. I don't know nothing about them. Ooh, what you did, hey boy? Good, what the fuck you did? Why are you playing? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what the age? Oh my God. Hey, you ain't gonna take no shot. You need oh, okay, I see you. So the, the escort, the they finna come right oh, here. My you drank all my apple juice. <laughs> you heard me. Right. Why you drank all my apple juice? Damn. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get my security rowdy enough to strain oh, so. him. Anyway. Let me, <laughs> let me see your angry face. <laughs> all right, dude, let me see your. Damn, nigga, nigga, got me scared. Damn, nigga, you scared me. I'm your sister, shit. Nigga, <laughs> like, even slam the fuck out of me. I'm the one we gotta protect. They got my escort right there. He finna escort some shit. I fought with it. I fought with that. <laughs> Ooh, that's presidential. Ooh, that's presidential. Yeah, everybody get the fuck out the way. You know how they, you know how, you know how they be? Who the fuck?
Birmingham, Alabama for one and a half day and um, I want to just explain to y'all that yesterday was one of the greatest days of my life. I, I think um, I've been in areas where I've been crowded around a lot of people that love me, a lot of people that want to show me love, a lot of people that just feel like my videos help them, a lot of stuff like that. But it, it hit different when it comes from home because it hit different when you come from zero. I promise you, like, I'm actually still trying to take in the moment, you know what I'm saying? I'm still kind of overwhelmed. I still feel like, uh, I don't really know how to feel. That's how I feel. I feel like I don't know how to feel. I'm not going to crop none of the moments for real in this video. Y'all just going to get a real raw. Well, of course, I'm a crop it to make it make sense, but y'all gonna get a real raw and authentic video. I want y'all to hear how my hometown screamed my name. I want to hear, I want y'all to, man, they was chanting my name. Now, um, I love a and and they showed me a lot of love. But for some reason, when I got on that side at, with ASU, they started screaming so loud, and they started screaming my name. I love ASU. Like, I hope that next year for homecoming or something for ASU did they invite me to do something for their school because goodness gracious like that was the most heartwarming shit I've ever been through in my life man. I ain't crying y'all is. I already cried. Ha! <laughs> Honestly I really did though. I, um, I, just had to, I just had to take that moment in for like five seconds. I, I cried behind the cars. I cried in my hotel room. I cried after the game. Just had to release all of that pressure that I had built up, you know what I'm saying? I, was, I felt so much pressure for no reason because all I had to do was get there and continue to be myself, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, they said the stands never been that field. No, the stands, of course, have been that field. They said the stands were not that field last year. So I had a lot of people there come show me some love, a lot of people there to support me. The game was jumping, y'all. Matter of fact, Birmingham, Alabama was jumping, period. Um, I don't think nobody died last night. And if anybody did, I ain't hear about it. And that is a plus when it comes down to Birmingham, Alabama. Somebody did make a post and said one person died, something, something, something like that. But I promise you, if, if more than five people ain't died during the classic weekend, that was a freaking perfect weekend. Nobody, like, what? I mean, I seen a couple of fights. Dirty Red, them, KC, Kimbo. Goddamn. 
Y'all whooped some ass, wasn't it? Y'all really wouldn't, ain't no telling where the motherfucker be. And apparently the motherfucker was in y'all section, so you went up into the wrong section, apparently. But yeah, y'all, um, today I'm finna go out to eat with my assistant to celebrate all of the accomplishments that I've been, you know what I'm saying, coming across, reaching, doing, it's just everything. I'm finna step out and celebrate a little bit. I might dress nice a little. A little. I'm still stuck, y'all, I don't know what to do. I'm back to work, y'all. I'm back home and I'm back to work. I'm finna drop a lot of videos for y'all, so stay tuned. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment on this video. I smash the nigga fake, they some ass, I'm out. I talk when I dance with the Glock like a pal. I step on his ass like some glass. These niggas know I been doing this shit on Crip. I swear to God it ain't new. Told the bitch after I hit this bitch, you gotta do. One other bitch out of the